I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, to give me the spirit to do this video. Let's jump right to it. Baruch chapter 4, starting verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh, and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. And that's what you want to be. You want to be illuminated. You want to be where you can be touched, okay, because of the grace and the mercy and the calling that's upon you from above. That illumination is priceless, man. You can't put a price on it. You're talking about your life, your soul. You're talking about eternity, glory, okay, as joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Never die. Come on, man. This is huge to actually be one of the men on the earth walking around illuminated. That's a huge deal, man. Something to meditate on. From there, let's go to 1 John chapter 4, starting verse 16. And we have known and believed that the love that Yahweh have in us, Yahweh is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in Yahweh, and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai dwelleth in him. That love, because what did Yahweh Shai tell Peter? If you love me, feed my sheep. Okay? So Peter was illuminated, feeding Yahweh Shai's sheep. It made him walk illuminated. Okay? So in this time, when we zone in and sober up on that fact right there, we know we need to take that love up to another level, man. Okay? Show love and find ways to look around, examine ourselves, and show more love and more love to your high boss, your shot, who gave us life in the beginning with, who gave us mercy, who gave us grace. Okay? Which is very special. Verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Right. Meaning fear of you're going to be destroyed. Because you got a fear of working your own salvation with prayer and trembling. It's a righteous fear. But this particular fear is talking about you just no faith, man. Pretty much. Okay? You don't have fear. And that's what Yahweh Shah was teaching the disciples. Because that boat, that water that was over that boat, okay, and the waves were coming on the boat, that made the disciples fearful. They were scared. And what did Yahweh Shah say? Oh, thou little faith. So Yahweh Shah is teaching us overall to not be fearful. Why? Because if you're doing the will, you're abiding in that love. And if you're abiding in that love, you are illuminated, as it says in Baruch chapter 4. Okay? You are illuminated. Because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Right. And that's special, man. He created us to be his love. He created us to be his chosen, to put his name on us. Okay? Why can't we not work harder for Yahweh Bashim al for that, man? Okay? Find ways to go harder. Okay? So what? So you can be illuminated. It's about walking illuminated, man. Because when you read Psalms 34, verse 7, about the angels encamping around them that fear him, okay, that's that illumination. Those angels are protecting you. Okay? So you're being illuminated. Verse 20, if a man say, I love Yahweh and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love Yahweh whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who love Yahweh love his brother also. Right, man. Like Ariella said in a lesson that he did recently. Okay? See Yahweh Shai in the brothers. You got to see Yahweh Shai in the brothers and treat it so. But by you doing that, Okay, and by you feeding the sheep, okay, and being charitable, you are walking illuminated. And that's huge, man. To walk illuminated, you can't be touched through your faith and believe it is truth, man. That the Lord is a rewarder, man, for them that diligently seek him, man. From there, let's go to Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place. Now, when you go back to 1 John 4, verse 16, and we have known and believed the love that Yahweh have in us, Yahweh is love, and he that dwelleth in love, 
Let's go back to Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. Because he's dwelling in that love, in that secret place, doing what the word says. That's dwelling in it. You can't dwell in it if you ain't doing what it say. Okay? Then he knows he needs to feed the sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. Okay? Which is that charity. Which is that brotherly love, man. Being there to build up. That's how you become illuminated, man. You know that because that's why it says you can have prophecies, you can know all the deep secrets, you can know all this thing, you can know all the faith, but if you have not charity, you're nothing. So that charity, along with this knowledge and understanding, makes you illuminated. From there, let's go to John chapter 15, verse 8 through 11. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. Right, glorified, man. It's pleasing to your heart, man. This is his will. So if we're doing what he say by serving your house shy, which is serving him, is serving the brothers, okay, and being charitable, why would he not make us illuminated? Why would he not protect us? He's faithful, man. He's going to protect us like he say. He said, he that feared the Lord, the angels and kept around him, man, to do what? To deliver you out of situations, man, to protect you, to comfort you. That's everything, man. There's no price on that. Verse 9. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Meaning illuminated. Okay? Meaning dwelling in a secret place. Where the angels protect you. That's abiding in his love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken to you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. Right. That full illumination. Because that's what's going to take you to the kingdom. That's what's going to get you delivered. Walking illuminated. Walking as the light. As that bright light glowing amongst the darkness. That's what's going to get you in that chair. Praise the Lord. Because you didn't have to suffer that death. From there, let's go to John chapter 14, starting verse 23. Yahweh shall answer said to him, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Right. Make him illuminated. <laughs> okay? They're going to make their abode with you. They're going to do it with you. They're going to be in your spirit. They're going to bless your steps, man, and give you the strength and the power to adjust and to hang on to this truth and to the crown. From there, let's go to Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If your heart will be for us, who can be against us? Right. If he's for us, if we're abiding his love, if we're doing his will, who can be against us, man? He runs this whole thing. The Lord said, I create good and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I set up a king and put down another. So we know who's running the show. We just need to constantly examine ourselves to make sure that we are doing what we need to do to stay illuminated, man, to hold on to that crown and hope. That's special. That's a gift, man. Okay, no one can take it from us, okay, except the Lord for us not doing what we need to do. So I'm just encouraging, man, hey, man, you want to be illuminated? Continue to feed, like Yahweh Shai said. Continue to feed, and you will be doing the will of Yahweh, man. The reward is on its way. We just got to keep going and keep pushing and keep pushing each other, exhorting each other, man, okay, that we see the time approaching. We know it's time it is. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honor to the elder Gray Millstone and shalom to your Akamata that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.